What's up guys, Andrew aka the Glocktopus here with Glocktopus Reviews and this week we're bringing you a review on the JK Armament HD Steel SBR upgrade kit for your SBRs. Also we're going to be talking about the HD Steel cups. If you guys want to see more cool reviews like this go ahead and like and subscribe to our pages on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. Let's get started. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna start this video out a little differently with a disclaimer. We wanna make sure that before you go and you convert any solvent trap that you need to apply with a E-Form 1 to the ATF and get approval prior to drilling any holes in any baffles, cups, anything that you have. Uh, doing so before having approval is a felony. You wanna make sure you get that approval and that stamp back in your email. You can go ahead and print that. Once you have that in your hands, you can go ahead and do all the drilling to your heart's content. Make sure you study up on this, guys, and do it the right way. You don't want to get yourselves in trouble over a little snafu. All right, guys, we're going to get into this review of this steel solvent trap from JK Armament. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this thing weighed so you guys know how much it weighs. Um, keep in mind, we do have the dead air chemo adapter, the steel SBR upgrade kit, which consists of two steel cones, and the steel blast chamber. Um, I went ahead and added an expansion chamber. Um, it's just an extra ring that you add here that will add to the length of your blast chamber. Uh, we're not gonna get into the specifics of why I did that. Um, just go ahead and we'll put that back together. So. Like I said from the beginning, we've got the dead air chemo adapter, the steel blast chamber, one steel expansion, and then we've got one, two, three, four, five steel HD cups along with a direct thread adapter in the steel. I went ahead and went this route because I didn't want to have to drill a steel end cap. Uh, this is a nine millimeter can and the bore on this direct thread adapter is actually the size I need for a nine mil can. So it kind of just shortened my process when I was getting this thing ready. Uh, let's throw this thing on the scale and see how much it weighs. So it looks like we're ringing in right at almost 25 ounces, 24.9 ounces. Uh, that's a little on the heavy side, guys. Um, it's not too bad for me. Um, I know that I'm gonna have to deal with the weight if I'm gonna wanna be able to use a solvent trap on my SBR and if I wanna save some money, unless you go the titanium route. If you go the titanium route, you'll be able to uh, to get some weight savings, but it's also gonna be a little bit more expensive than these HD steel cups. Next, we're gonna move on to the actual length of this solvent trap. We've got our yardstick out here for you guys. Length total with the dead air adapter is gonna be right over seven and a half inches, just right over, it's almost seven and three quarters inches long. Um, when you're adding that to the end of your rifle, it is something that you have to keep in mind um, how long you're actually making this thing. Um, the reason we go ahead and we go with the dead air chemo adapter is a variety of reasons, but the number one reason I like to use it is for the ease and quickness of taking it and attaching it to my weapons platforms. So this here is gonna be my BRN 180. It's chambered in 223 Wild. Uh, what you gotta do is go ahead and go over and grab Dead Air's uh, flash hiders or their muzzle brakes. That's the only way you're gonna be able to attach it with this uh, chemo adapter. Um, keep in mind the JK Armament tubes are threaded in the industry standard of 
0.75 inches by 24 threads per inch. Um, you're gonna find a lot of attachments that have that thread sizing that are gonna go ahead and be able to fit inside of the smokestacks for JK. Uh, they also offer their own taper mount and War Eagle. You can check those out on their websites. My preferred method, like I said, is gonna be this dead air. So what you do is you take that and it slides right onto these notches on the flash hider and you take one, two, three, about three and a quarter turns and this suppressor is locked down onto a taper on the flash mount, or sorry, the flash hider, and that's gonna keep everything concentric. Um, taking this off is just as easy as putting it on. Comes right off. If you wanna switch that to another weapon system, you can do that, super, super easy. Uh, we're gonna grab my 10 and a half inch Aero Precision uh, 5.56 rifle. Same thing, guys. You slip that right on these dead air flash hiders, couple turns, and you've got a fully mounted suppressor in a matter of seconds. Um, there's no dealing with having to screw it on a million times or worrying about this thing backing itself off while you're firing. It's just a really, really cool option that JK went ahead and threaded this thing in the industry standards where you can use whatever attachments that you want Super simple, super, super simple. And one of my favorite QD attachments for suppressors on the market right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take this apart and I'll show you guys what the inside looks like. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, what we've got here is the direct thread adapter, and we've got five steel cones, one expansion adapter, and then you've got the steel smokestack with the dead air chemo adapter on the bottom. I went ahead and went with this direct thread adapter instead of a steel end cap because this is can is bored to nine mil. Um, I didn't want to have to do any extra work. It was kind of the lazy way, but this hole on the direct thread adapter is just the right size for a nine mil can and it kind of saved me some work, so I use that as the end cap. Uh, we've got the five steel cups here. I've got another three steel cups that I run with this can. Um, I choose not to run it in that configuration all the time because it's super heavy. Uh, when I store it, it's all eight cups, so the way you're supposed to store it according to the ATF. Um, but this trap is modular. Uh, it's the MST, that's what it stands for, modular solvent trap. You can run this in whatever configuration you want to, as long as it sounds good to you. Um, don't let anybody tell you that you have to run five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 baffles. Uh, do what works for you. Uh, you'll be able to take it to the range, test it out, and see what's going on with it, and see how it sounds with the different configurations. Um, we've got one steel expansion. Uh, this is an expansion piece. Basically what this piece will do is add room to the blast chamber here and give it a little more length. What happens is when you're putting this smokestack onto your flash hider, you'll see here the flash hider actually sits, if I can get that on camera, sits pretty close inside. Um, we don't want that flash hider, the hot gases exiting the barrel, super close to the first cone. So what you do is you can add one of these expansion chambers here onto the end and that gives you uh, just a little more room for your blast chamber. If you guys want to learn more about Form 1 suppressions, a good place to check it out is going to be with Silencer Student over on YouTube. You can check out his channel down in my link tree. Really, really good information for people starting out in the Form 1 world if you're looking to uh, get into building your own suppressors. Um, JK Armament is a super, super, super easy and great option. Everything's ready to go for you on their website. Shipping is super quick. Uh, just a little, little detail I want to give you guys. Make sure when you're on their site ordering your solvent trap that you pick up a couple of these wrenches. Don't just grab one, grab two. You're gonna need two. Um, if you're trying to go get a one and a half inch wrench from the store to use for uh, taking this thing apart, it's going to be a hassle. Uh, what they have here is a metal that's softer than uh, the traps that they're producing. So when you go to take these apart, these wrenches really don't do damage to the finish in the outside of your trap. 
really, really good thing to pick up, guys, when you're using these solvent traps. Another thing that I use, uh, not everybody has to use these or does use these, um, I pick up a pair of really good quality welding gloves. Um, these welding gloves are rated for high temps. Um, I'm not grabbing this solvent trap when it's red piping hot. Um, I've actually never gotten it red piping hot. Um, I do use it when the trap is a little too hot to handle. I can take it off with these welding gloves and actually I can put it inside between both of these gloves and travel with it when it's just a little too warm to stick in the bags. So this is another great thing you can pick up. You can grab these on Amazon. Make sure you're getting the ones that are rated and they're real welding real excuse me, real welding gloves. These are made by Rapica. These are pretty good size 16. Uh, they work really well for me. I haven't had any issues getting burned or having these things get burned on the outside. Um, like I said, guys, this solvent trap is really, really good for your SBRs, especially with you having like 10 and a half inch, 11 and a half inches. Uh, smaller weapons need a stronger material for the higher pressures that are produced on the shorter barrels. Um, you want to be safe and not use the aluminum traps that these guys have. They do have, like I said, the SBR upgrade kit, which consists of this smokestack and two cones. If you want to purchase anything past that, you're going to have to go ahead and pick those things up separately on their website like I did. It is a little bit costly, but in the end, guys, like I said, you end up with a trap that you created yourself in your garage. Uh, you're happy with something that actually works, and it's really, really cool, guys. Um, let me just get into a little bit of specifics on these pieces. This is a 17-4 stainless steel heat treated tube. All of these pieces like the expansion piece and the cones are also a 17-4 stainless steel heat treated uh, option. Make sure that you're getting parts that are really heat treated and done to a correct spec guys. Um, the outside coating on these is going to be Armor Black C192 Cerakote. It, it's a really good Cerakote. Um, I'm really harsh on my solvent trap suppressor, so I really have to uh, be careful with it. Um, I really don't mind the marks on the outside of it. Some people are OCD about how it looks. Uh, it's all up to you how you clean you want to keep it or let it get scratched up. Like I said, I don't mind the Cerakote getting scratched. It's just showing that you get really good use out of your materials. Um, again, the end of the smokestack is threaded in 1.375 inches by 24 threads per inch, which is an industry standard. Um, you can find that the Silencer Co. Bravo mounts, these dead air chemo mounts. There's a lot of mounts on the market, guys. Just do your research and see what the best kit is for you and your ecosystem. Uh, if you're running all dead air flash hiders, muzzle brakes, uh, apparently you're going to want to go ahead and get one of these chemos because that's what's going to work. You're not going to use anything else with those chemos. Um, Dead Air's got a new Xeno mount that they have. I don't know much about it, but like I said, I do prefer the chemo mounts for everything they have. We're going to go ahead and get this packed up, guys, for you and take it down to the range and get some sound tests. That way you guys know what it sounds like. I don't have any professional mic equipment, but you can kind of deduce from the, the video that we put up uh, what this thing sounds like. It does reduce the sound signature from the weapon um, pretty significantly. I don't have a decibel meter, so I can't really tell you how quiet it's getting it but it is working guys. So let's get it packed up, taken down to the range and let you guys check it out. All right, guys, welcome back from the range. We're gonna go ahead and get into this review of this HD steel solvent trap. Uh, my review is gonna go ahead and be an eight out of eight glocked bus arms. I'm gonna tell you why. This is a very, very awesome do-it-yourself option. There's no waiting for six to seven, 
months up to a year to get a Form 4 suppressor. Uh, you also get the, the joy of knowing that you made something in your garage that actually works. That is if you did it right. Um, the steel cups and the steel components that JK Armament puts out are super quality. They're heat treated. Um, they stand up to the high pressures needed for the SBR with a lot of unburnt powder, a lot of high pressures. It's really good for it. Um, as you saw in the video, I did go ahead and put the extra extension here just to give me a little bit more of a blast chamber. Um, you can pick those up on their website as well with the cups. And as you saw, I also did change the end from uh, an actual end cap. It's just the threaded, uh, direct thread for the end where you can thread it onto the end of the barrel. Um, this is a nine millimeter can and it just happens to be that this direct thread hole is the same size I need for a nine mil can and I didn't have to do any extra drilling through a steel end cap. Um, go ahead and look at these guys. If you're looking for something that you can turn around and get quick, um, it's quiet as you saw in the video and something that's very sturdy made out of great materials and a company that actually stands behind what they're putting out. Uh, go ahead and pick these up. JK Armament is not paying me or supporting me by any means to uh, put out these reviews. I put these reviews out because I think this is a quality product and these things actually do what they're meant to do once you convert them with an approved form one. Um, yeah, guys, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Um, go ahead and click the bell icon, which is the notification icon on Instagram and YouTube, and click the like button and the like thumbs up on Instagram and YouTube. That'll notify you of any new videos that we have coming out that we can stay uh, updated with content that we put out. If you want to pick up one of these JK Armament solvent traps, go ahead and click the link in the bio or link in description, and that'll take you to another page where you can click the link to get to these. Also, if you're looking to get a discount on these, JK Armament does offer a discount to first responders and military veterans. Go ahead and go to their website. There's an email address where you can shoot them over an email. Uh, I think you send them a copy of your credentials and they'll send you back a code that works for you and you can get a discount on anything on their website. As always guys, we want you to stay healthy, stay safe. Check you guys later.